welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Bava, and we are seeing how much Obzidot's aid is worth. I'm not sure. Obzidot's aid. Ten cents. <clears throat> Alright, return target permanent card from a graveyard to the battlefield. It's pretty cool though. What else is going on here? It's a beautiful mage, there's a war leader's helix, Tristani Summoner, Ascended Lawmaker. War leader's helix, probably the best card here. Um, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and grab it and see what happens. There's a lot of other good stuff going on. There's some good Simic stuff here, uh, which I like, and I just did really well with a band deck. Um, Darn, but I don't think I can pass up the helix. It's pretty sweet. Each player sacrifices a multicolored permanent. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so let's take. Announce the guilds. Why not? Let's see what's going on here. Cast an instant. Real damage. Flux charger. Blue, red, white. I feel like that deck never works for me quite as well as I want it to. Nivix Cyclops, Wake the Reflections. Yikes. Alright. I don't like what's going on here. A 5 1 flyer in the air. Meh. Let's take the guild gate. Toil and trouble. I do like toil and trouble. It's never worked out that well for me though. Warped physique. Hmm. Tamir guild gate. Mastiff. Let's take this guy. There's another Trostani summoner. That'd be an interesting deck, wouldn't it? Uh, we'll take the Punish the Enemy, though. And don't like Down and Dirty. We'll take the Rakdos Guild Gate. Sunspire Gatekeepers. Huh. Purple Bell Maka. It's alright. We need creatures. We don't have any creatures. I just assume we'll get some creatures. And let's try running black, red, white. So far, so good. Reap intellect. What in the reveals you choose up to X non-land cards. That's pretty cool. Is that worth anything? I kind of doubt it. Thirty-six cents. Yeah, and I don't think I'm taking it. I don't know what I might be taking. Nothing else seems really great. Um, the guild gate. We still don't have any creatures. So we'll take lots of guild gates. Showstopper, hired torturer, Nivix. Cyclops and cover clues. All right, we'll take the torturer. Our first creature is a defender. That's all sad. Maze rusher. Um. He's big, right? Seems good. And maybe this is, you know, maybe we're putting together the Guild Gate deck. I just think about that. Huh. 
Clear Path, Fatal Fumes, Maze Rusher, Smelt Ward Gatekeepers. Get some gatekeepers while we can. I've never gotten gatekeepers off in limited, I don't think. But it would be fine to be an incredibly aggressive Boros slash Rakdos deck. And that's what red, white, black could really have going for it. The white, black could also be a really nice, uh, really nice removal in our gate crash pack. Um, this is going to be a hard choice uh, picking between Ortsov cards and Boros cards. Ortsov has uh, generally treated me much better than Boros. Um, this is a bunch of hurry up. All right, let's hit the Cyclops. It's just nothing good here. Anybody else? The Cyclops pretty decent. Maze rushers. And probably neither of them getting played. Um, you never know. Morgue Burst might get played if we got the bombs for it. He works well with things like the Maze Rusher. But we'll see. We'll see how bomby we are. So our last draft went pretty well. We went undefeated in six games, playing Bant Bombs, so a, a green, blue, white deck. And uh, it was pretty sweet. Um, we had the Trostani Summoner and the, uh, the white. Yeah. The white elemental. Um, what did we have? We had the Archon of the Triumvirate. Um, oh, we had the Aetherling, probably the best card. Um, and some good stuff in there. Uh, two of the Wolf Riders, which are, are actually pretty good, I think, in this format. Having six toughness significantly better than having five toughness. Like, twice as good. Um, so those guys were pretty handy. Um, and then people kept passing things. Like I, I got two pit fights passed to me. The Crypt Ghast. My god. Really? Whenever I tap a swamp for mana, huh? Oh, it's so tempting. We're going to take him. All right, we need stuff to spend all that mana on, don't we? The Cinder Elemental is not going to stick around. Damn. And see, I don't know what anything costs. I don't think he's worth much. Five cents. I don't think so. All right. Um, Cinder Elemental, probably strictly better than the Crypt Ghast in Limited. The Crypt Ghast is pretty cool. Cinder Elemental doubles as a piece of removal. All right, so I'm taking the Cinder Elemental. The Cinder Elemental kills the Crypt Ghast. Um, that is occasionally my barometer. 
plus Cinder Elemental's late game Fireball, uh, which is pretty sweet. Tenrova Horror, Knight of Obligation, Angelic Edict, Orzov Guild Gate. I'm taking the Edict here, though. Um, I'm going to get as much removal as I can. Slower removal. That's sad to see that crypt gas go. But. Cinder elementals do a lot to scare your opponent when they see them on your side of the table. Um, they're pretty good like that. Let's see, do I know anybody in this trap? Well, I need to check. I usually don't. I don't like to see names, just pictures. I'm sure I could hover over. Um, Death's Approach, Grizzly Spectacle. I know this is double black but it is a strictly better card. High Priest of Penance, hello there, sir. Welcome to the team. <laughs> I do like that guy. Alright, so Ortsov seems pretty open. I'm pretty happy to draft as heavily into Ortsov as I can. Though I'll take a few, uh, a few Boros picks if they come my way. Hmm. We're still pretty heavy on the top end with this deck. We don't have any ramp at the moment. We have a few guild gates, a little bit of fixing. The Azorius guild gates really just there to help me activate my smelt ward gatekeepers. Urbis protector, white of precinct six, death's approach. Um, I think we take the white over the death's approach. He's pretty good, and over the Urbis Protector, who I don't like that much. Welcome to the team, Sir White. You should do well with all this removal around. Here's hoping. <laughs> Ordron Veteran, Death Cult Rogue. Syndicate Enforcer or a Smite. Nobody expects Smite. Um, as much as I like the veteran. I like the one mana piece of removal. Whispering Madness, Dying Wish, Basilica Screecher. Basilica Screecher is good. Okay. Uh, Basilica Screecher it is. I would love that Guild Gate. Uh, hopefully. I doubt we'll see another one pass. Ortsov is wide open. Black seems I want the other deaths approach probably come back around, huh? We'll see. Hired Torturer works well in this deck. So does Dutiful Thrall. You can join the team. I'm liking what we're doing so far. <laughs> hmm. 
We have to be careful about the high priest with renounce the guilds. All right. Take the beckon apparition for sideboard. Or we take the Demir Kirun. I hate facing the Demir Kirun. It's nasty to go up against. Uh, we'll take the Midnight Recovery if possible. That could go on the board. Mm. Excuse me. Round. How many keys can we get? Huh. Alright, I kind of got choked out at the end. We've already got some good playables here. Probably not the Demir Kirun, but you never know. Oh! How much does that guy go for? Armada. No, it's for not foil one. Alright, so he's gonna join the team. Otherwise it would be the stab wound, so I'm really sad to see that go. Um, but there's a Rakdos key rune. Um, I do like a Rakdos key rune. Armory Guard, Dyna Charge, Perilous Shadow, Transmethal Burgeoning, alright. Hmm. Okay, so Deliverance Roustabout, Sneak Gilgay Spawn, or Vrixmati, Splatter Thug. Alright, we've got all the removal, I think we need some big guys. Big guys. <laughs> So the Splatter Thug's good, and the Spawn of Rick's Maddie's good. Maybe we just need guys that are easy to cast. 6 4, 3 3, first strike. I'll take the Splatter Thug. Um, Cobble Brute, Electricery. Take the Cobble Brute, who's pretty awesome, or the Electricery, which could be fun. Unexpectedness. I guess we'll take the Cobble Brute. Leslie is wide open here, it's pretty crazy. Um, Dead Reveler or Splatter Thug? I think the Splatter Thug was better in RTR. I think the Dead Reveler is pretty good now. Let me set up a little bit. Fandom General, not gonna help significantly. Uh, Expensive piece of removal. Cobble Brute. Pursuit of Flight. Tenement Crusher. 5 4 haste. 
six cobble roots, just five, two. So, yeah. Four drop. Twos, sixes. Darn. I don't know. Cobble root it is. Splatter Thug or Eyes in the Skies. Splatter Thug it is. Armory Guard. Oh, Parallel Shadow is pretty sweet. Alright, this guy's much better. In the end game. Long smell word gatekeepers. Oh, sorry, it's guild gate. Couple guild gates and a key rune. Alright. Easter fixing gives us black, which is the only thing we have double of. Just what I wanted. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Quite a bit of removal. So the only multicolor guy we have is the High Priest of Penance. So should be able to get him off. Okay. Twenty-six, twenty-four. So seventeen lander with the key room. That's fine. Edict punish. Judgment Tenement Crasher. Beautiful Thrall, Smite, Renounce, Screecher, Rast, Foul, White, Priest, Reveler, Torturer, Thugs, Key Rune, Party Spectacle, uh, Cobble Brute. Maybe we lose a Cobble Brute? Tenement Crasher. Yeah. That looks better. Alright, so 13 creatures, 10 other, 17 land. Pretty good curve, mostly up to 4, just a few removal there. Um, this looks good to me. Okay, let's look at our colors. We've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, black, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so black's in the lead, and then white and red are tied. All right. Uh, but we have white, 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 black, white, black. We don't have any red until three drops, then four drops, five drops. All right. So white is slightly more important than red, even though we've got more red slightly, and then black, one, two, three, four, five, six, plenty of black coming in, and the double blacks as well. All right, so for 15 land, might just be that we go with a five, five, five. It's going to be seven black, really, with the key rune. 
and six white and seven red. Seventeen land, thirteen creatures. Six white. Seven red, seven red. All right. Let's uh, go for it. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, this was our deck building for this return to Ravnica block draft. Stay tuned for round one. I'll see you there.